All praises to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem Kakudash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. And peace and blessings to the hopeful elect of the nation of Israel. The nation of Israel consists of these so called Negroes, Latinos, Native American, Seminole Indian descent. And you're going to have a large amount of Israelites that are going to look like the other nations. Uh, they're going to be scattered in other nations as well. You know, that's what I mean. Uh, but the spirit is going to be of a Hebrew Israelite. All right. And um, we don't go off of uh, uh, skin color. All right. Uh, but anyway, uh, see, I was at work yesterday and uh, a handful of people know that I teach the truth. All right. Because, you know, um, you can pretend and. You can make uh, as many videos and seem like you're, uh, you're uh, you know, uh, not blameless, but, you know, um, you know, there's guys out there that, that, that know of the truth or whatever. They'll say they're in the truth, but they're one person on the video then in uh, actual character, like you meet them in person, they're nothing like how they are when they're uh, on videos, all right? So, this guy named Jerry, he's an older guy. He know I teach, uh, he know I teach the truth. And he was like, uh, hey, man, you know, uh, I haven't seen you in a while uh, because he works in the morning. I work at nighttime. Usually when I come, he's he's gone. So, he asked me about, you know, what's up with all these so-called uh, UFO sightings. And I told him, the reason why that we're seeing all these so-called UFO sightings is because th that's how the Lord is going to deliver the children of Israel. All right. The 144,000, the one third. And also he's going to destroy people with these so-called UFOs, which they're not UFOs in the Bible. All right. They're the chariots of Israel. All right. And uh, I don't have all the scriptures. That I want to get on on this, but I I have a handful. All right, so this is how the children of Israel will be delivered. Now, uh, I have some scriptures on my phone, and also uh, I'm going to go uh, through the Bible and and bring out some scriptures. So I'm going to start with. Uh, mm, I'm going to start with Ezekiel, the first chapter in the fourth verse. And I looked and beheld a whirlwind came out of the north, a great cloud and the fire enfolding itself. Now, hold on. Ezekiel, the prophet Ezekiel said that he seen, uh, I looked and behold, a whirlwind come out of the north. All right. A great cloud. So. It's not talking about a actual cloud. When you go into this word cloud in the blue letter, it's either going to say Anon, um, but I believe it's Anon, which is uh, basically going into a chariot, I believe. Um, and I have the blue letter. I'm going to bring it up. All right. So he said that he's seen a great cloud and a fire enfolding itself. All right. And a brightness was was about it and out of the mist thereof as the color of amber out of the mist of the fire so he seen something in the sky all right and how could a cloud turn into the like uh, you know like fire how could a cloud turn into fire think about that that doesn't make sense what he seen was this Let's see if we can, let's see if we can find it. Fiery. Let's see what, it, what it'll say. Let's see. That's what he's seen. All right. So, uh, I remember watching this video like a year ago. This was caught in Arizona. Okay, 
So this is what Ezekiel is seeing. This is the best representation. It's not exactly the same shape as what Ezekiel is seeing. But it says that, um, and out of the midst thereof, as the color of amber, out of the midst of the fire. Okay. Now, so that's the best example of the so-called UFOs, which are the chariots of Israel. Now, let's get off of this. I'm gonna get it. I'm going to get some more scriptures. Uh, so we're gonna go to Jeremiah 23 and 19. This is Jeremiah 23, 19. Behold, a whirlwind of the Lord, and the Lord is in all caps, so it represents Yahweh, is gone forth in fury, even a grievous whirlwind. It shall fall grievously. Now, who's the wicked? The so-called white man, all right? Now, you're going to have Israelites that's going to look like Esau, which are uh, uh, you so-called white people. You're the sons of uh, Esau. You're Edomites. You're going to have Israelites that's going to look like them that will be saved. Okay? All Israel's in all nations, all right? So if you're a brother, you're a sister, and you have the skin of an Edomite, you know, that's just your punishment, all right? But in the kingdom, you're going to have your glow back. You're going to have your skin tone, and you will be delivered if you believe in this truth. So the Lord is going to uh, uh, come down with great wrath upon all these nations by the way of... Uh, so-called ufos which are the chariots of israel as well all right um i lost my page i'm gonna go to jeremiah <coughs> it's like it 25 and 32 here goes jeremiah 25 32 and it says Thus said the Lord of hosts, the Lord of armies, or Yahweh of armies, because these chariots are his army as well. That's what the angels ride in. So these so-called UFOs are angels. And it states that, or it gives a description of how the actual angels look. Also in the book of Ezekiel, the first chapter, all right? So this is Jeremiah 25 and 32. Thus said the Yahweh of hosts, behold, evil shall go forth from nations. Salakia. Evil shall go forth from nation to nation, and a great whirlwind shall be raised up from the coast of the earth. And Salakia, uh, I might get a call or a text right back. So uh, we all know that the word evil means bad, uh, bad times. So when these, when these, uh, when the Lord comes back, when Yahweh Shah comes back. And uh, so-called UFOs uh, is going to be a bad time for who the evil and the wicked. All right. And it's going to be a good time. It's going to be a good time for the elect of the nation of Israel. All right. So lock it. Let me uh, get some more precepts and I'm going to give you the precepts that's on my phone. Uh. Let's go to Jeremiah 1 and 14. Uh, okay. Then the Yahweh said unto me, Out of the north an evil shall break forth upon all the inhabitants of the land. For lo, I will call all the families of the kingdoms. Uh, it's like it. For lo, I will call all the families of the kingdoms. Of the north said the Yahweh, and they shall come, and they shall set every one on his throne at the entering of the gates of Jerusalem, and therefore all the walls thereof round about, and against all the cities of Judea. Um, and I will utter my judgments against them, touching all their wickedness, who have forsaken me, and have burnt incense unto other gods, and worshipped the works of their own hands. That's going into talking about Israel. All right. But this also can refer to uh, these other nations because these other nations, they don't worship Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai. What's the true name of the Heavenly Father, Yahweh Shai? It's the name of his only begotten son. It's not Jesus. Jesus or uh, Jesus is Greek. All right. Yahweh Shai is Hebrew 
and Yahweh is too. They're Hebrew Israelites. We are the Hebrew Israelites. All right. So these other nations, they burn incense to different gods. All right. And they worship idols. All right. Um, so that's why um, uh, this judgment must go forth. And ultimately, all nations played a part in putting the children of Israel in captivity. All, all these other nations that helped destroying the earth by the ways of uh, wars and nuclear missiles. All right. Ultimately, Esau for, uh, first. Yeah. But guess what? These other nations followed suit. Esau had nuclear missiles. Guess who else ended up having nuclear missiles? Uh, uh, the East Indian, so, uh, so-called Pakistanians, which they're related. Uh, the Chinese, the Japanese, so-called. All nations on earth, you know, uh, are destroying the earth. All right. And uh, if the Lord don't come back and do this, no flesh will be saved. All right. This is Jeremiah. Uh, Four and six. Oh. Jeremiah four. Verse six. Set up the standard toward Zion. Retire. Stay not, for I will bring evil from the north and a great destruction. All right. Uh okay, I'm gonna read on down. It says the lion has come up from his thicket. Uh the word thicket goes into uh like a dwelling and that word is symbolic because the other precepts i have is going to say something about uh, uh the lord's uh cloud which when you see the word cloud in the scriptures it really is talking about a ufo so-called ufo but they do describe like actual rain clouds all right but basically it's going to say that uh that cloud is the lord's thicket or that's his refuge that's his dwelling okay so jeremiah uh Four and seven, the lion has come up from his thicket, and the destroyer of the Gentiles is on his way. He has gone forth from his place to make thy land desolate, and the cities shall be laid waste without an inhabitant. And that's what's coming uh, 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 to uh, Babylon the Great. That's what's coming to America. This this land will be uh, uh, without an inhabitant soon, all right? Babylon the Great, no man shall dwell there no more. All right, no no son of man shall dwell there. You know the Arabian, uh, the Arabics. You know, like how it says in Isaiah, the what thirteenth uh, chapter, I believe, when Babylon the Great be destroyed, you know, won't be Arabs uh, pitching their tents here no more. So this is talking about uh, uh, America. Ultimately, um, you know, Jerusalem. It see Jeremiah was also talking. To Israel, but he was prophesying also about America. That's why you got Jeremiah 50th chapter. Um, Jeremiah, uh, was it 40? No, 49, I think, is dealing with Moab. Uh, but, you know, Jeremiah, all the prophets of old, they seen uh, uh, these times of today as well. All right. So this land would be uh, uh, desolate. All right. The destroyer of the Gentiles, which there were Gentiles in the scripture, is going into the heathen, Salakia. Salakia. Women. <laughs> uh, okay, so now let's go into some more scriptures. Wisdom of Solomon. Five and two in the Apocrypha. When they see it, they shall be troubled with terrible fear and shall be amazed at the strangeness of his salvation so far beyond all that they looked for. All right. Why is this? Why is the scripture say this? Because the children of, Is the children of Israel, the ones 44,000 and one third will be delivered. Salakia. <laughs> yeah, you just read the message. <laughs> uh, when they saw, when they, uh, oh, it's like, yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, so basically, uh, the children of Israel is going to be the, uh, delivered out of the land of the north. That says that in Jeremiah 2. And it's going to be strange to the people of the earth, you know, like the other nations when they see these so called UFOs coming to invade. Because, you know, um, nobody has ever 
being delivered by the way of a so-called UFO, a chariot. All right. And the chariots are going to be beautiful. Um, I believe it's in the book of Psalms where it talks about how the chariots are actually gold and silver. You know, when they come down here and actually show themselves, they're going to be gold and silver. They're going to be beautiful. All right. But as of right now, they're in disguise. You know, they're going to look like fine objects and so forth. Salakia. <laughs> they're going to look like flying or, you know, but, um, but yeah, so it's going to be strange to the people. Okay. So yeah, it's going to be strange to the people of earth and to, you know, the only people that are made to understand this are the chosen ones, the 144,000 and the one third man, women, and children of our nation, you know, um, and uh, we didn't choose the Lord. The Lord, he chose us. All right. Get some more. Uh... Hold on. I think I want to read something on this. Salakia, uh, I'm just, oh, uh, well, I forgot why, oh, okay, 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 Salakia, I'm trying to figure out uh, why I had that, okay, so, let's go into Ezekiel, so we start off with Ezekiel, I'm not going to make this long, but I just want to uh, break down uh, and, and show, you know, how the chariots, yeah, the cloud, the word for cloud is Anon. Uh, let's see. So it is Ezekiel, the first chapter, verse 14. So the word for cloud, all right. A cloud is covering the sky. All right, and that's what the chariots are going to do. The chariots are going to cover the sky. All right. Um, now, let's keep going into it. Okay, it says, look, uh, A. All right, cloud mass of theoponic cloud. Now, the reason why was the, the reason why I had this now theoponic or theopeni is from ancient Greek. Okay, meaning appearance of is the appearance of deity to a human. All right, so a non cloud mass of theoponic cloud all right so boom there you go this is ezekiel so the chariot the cloud is this is a so-called ufo my phone acting crazy all right and you know i, I believe that was the point yeah yeah that was the point right there so at nine, theoponic, or theo theopani, which means appearance of God, uh, a deity to a human. All right. So, the chariots are theo theopani. All right. And uh, I don't know what I'm gonna name to sit down. Let's, let's go a little bit deeper. Psalms one hundred four and three. Who laid the beams of his chambers in the waters? Who make it the clouds his chariot, see? Who walk with upon the wings of the wind. Alright. So the Lord Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, uh, uh his chariot are the clouds, the so called UFOs, Anon. Alright. And you know what? Uh well let's get another scripture. Psalms eighteen and eleven. Phone's going slow. Now it says, he made darkness his secret place. His pavilion round about him were dark waters and thick clouds of the sky. Okay. Uh, let's go into pavilion. Pavilion is Greek too. Now look, it says feminine. Uh, a hut or layer, booth, cottage covered 
a pavilion, tabernacle, tent. So what can you do in a hut or a lair? You chill there. You know, you relax there. That's your spot, you know, uh, a tent. Now, we all know that our forefather Jacob, it said that he was a man that dwelled in tents, you know. And, uh, <laughs> and that's who we are. We're the sons of Jacob, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. The blessing is coming to Jacob, all right? So, I believe it, man. I, I believe I, I proved the point, you know. I think I already read this, Psalm 104 and 1. No, that was something. No, that was something that was different. But yeah, I'm gonna close this out. Let's say all praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rakakwadash, the honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. And please uh peace <laughs> please. Peace and blessings to the hopeful elect of the nation of Israel. Shalom and the other nations are gonna be amazed at the strangeness. Of Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shah's salvation. Shalom.